This video is sponsored by New Type HQ because they're the only Gunpla dealer willing to sponsor me. Everyone else thinks I'm Satan. You may have seen this a thousand times before. Wait, no, actually, I probably only have eight videos that really feature this display. So there you go. But this is my longtime diorama, or I like to call it my film set. I built it because all the other Gundam reviewers kind of used a dead backdrop. I guess from a filmic perspective, it doesn't take anything from the kit that they're talking about. But from a creative perspective, it leaves the Gundam outside of its element. It doesn't give you an idea of scale of what it's supposed to be. Whereas to this display does give you that. And I felt I wanted to have something different than what everyone else was doing because that's always how I lived my life. Pushing myself in whatever I was doing to the edge, even if people didn't notice I was doing it. This is why I'm not a successful musician. The right people didn't see me. And that's life. This is made up of a mechanical chain bay. You can get these off eBay. Real simple and easy. You can check all of my videos on it on this channel. It's not hard. Just a few clicks. Overall, it takes a lot of work to make it look like this. And I'm still not finished with it. As you can tell, I'm 24 lights shy of a correctly lit background. And I may have to create a ceiling to have a truly ambiotic and actual lighting space that looks realistic to the scale. We'll save that for another time. That's not what this video is about. This video is about actually, oh bloody hell, it didn't skip quickly enough. I added this extra part for the people who want to see my base. This is actually about, let's fast forward. <laughs> this is actually about the MG MS cage, which was sent to me by New Type HQ. These were teased about a year ago and have finally come to flourishion. I could have my times tables wrong, honest to God. These originally came with the Unicorn Gundam HD Color plus MN <laughs> plus MS Cage Kit. The big drawback of the MS Cage by itself, sold by Gundam Base, and spoiler alerts, that's one of the biggest drawbacks. It's a Gundam Base exclusive. Why? Because Bandai, that's how they live. The other drawback is that this does not come with any of the water slide decals. You have to buy those yourself, third party. So if you didn't plan ahead, too bad, darling. You're not going to have any decals with this, which I feel is a huge blunder on Bandai's part. Because without the decals in the base just by itself, without any decals, is really plain. It's a mute gray color. And most people don't paint. So once again, it's a very, very bland color scheme. I, on the other hand, did take the time to do some minimal painting on this kit. I didn't take it as far as I could have nor should have. Simply because, as always here, time constraints. This comes with a weapon holder in the back, actually, or something like that. You put your extra pieces for the Unicorn Gundam inside of here, like the changeable Unicorn Head or beef in, whatever you want to call it, extra ammo mags, that's about it. And, <laughs> you know, when I think about it, it's, I guess it's a good thing, because there's some stuff some Gunpla kits come with that have a little extra BS, but frankly, not much can fit in here outside of a very specific amount of things. So, I don't know, it's arms up in the air. I don't know what to make of it. I guess it's nice to have it. This kit also comes with the Banaji Lynx figure, uh, Marina Cruz, his father, whose name I can't remember, and Audrey. I believe her name was Audrey, or is that like, I got it wrong. Audrey's what she called herself when she met Banaji. Uh, I can't remember. She's the zombie kid. Point being, I guess it's a cool add-on, but frankly, are you going to do anything really with them? On the plus side, though, if I do get my hands on like a 1-100 scale Cassatria somehow, at least I'll have a Marina Cruz figure. Thank God. You could at least get one somewhere. There isn't much to say about this MS cage. The articulation is the doors open and close. And you can connect a action base front to it. So you can have like the unicorn launching out of it or any Gundam you decide to put inside of it. On the plus side, it is 1-100 scale. So 
any UC Gundam should be able to fit this. Oddly enough though, to be real with you, like straight up though, the Unicorn Gundam in full destroyer mode is only slightly shorter than the new Gundam. And I know the new Gundam is way bigger than the RX-7-8 Gundam. And I didn't even bother trying to put the new Gundam inside of this thing. So that's kind of weird, the scaling. Hmm. Since I don't have a Unicorn Gundam, I don't know if Destroyer Mode is that much bigger than Unicorn Mode. I would imagine it wouldn't be, right? And hell if I know. Overall, it's an alright kit. It's something Bandai should have released a long time ago. They really, really screwed the pooch on this. And frankly, the fact that it's a Tokyo base exclusive is also another problem. Meaning you can only get this from New Type HQ. I think there's another place called the Gundam base or something. And maybe eBay for an inflated price. And that is it. Oh, flying to Japan. On top of that, it's around $39 to $50, depending on where you grab it from. Bandai didn't exactly price these things to be oh, fluffy. Oh, you licked inside my ear. Ah, oh, nasty. Bad puppy. Bad puppy. Naughty fluffy. Get off my get off my head. Quit sniffing my head. Fluffy. Ah, oh, my balls. Fluffy. You aren't a puppy anymore. You are 15 pounds of just terror. Bandai didn't exactly price these things to be that competitive with the third party market. Basically, third party makers have been pumping these kits out for a long time, literally years. And you can find them for around $12, but I bet they get you on the shipping. On the other hand though, you are getting better quality with Bandai. This is an official product, which means the plastic will be better. Cleaning nub marks will be easier. I don't fully know because I don't have the D-Bon or Dibon knockoffs. I don't care to bother getting them. But if messing around with this mechanical chain base is anything to judge it by, I wouldn't expect it to be very good. But on the other hand, the knockoffs at least give you decals. So once again, Bandai, what are you doing? For me personally, it is a good buy. Even though I didn't buy it, I would have bought it anyway. For me, this is a no-brainer. It's something I've wanted for a long time, and I'm glad Bandai has made it. The downsides are, it's a Gundam base exclusive, and there's no decals. Eat me. That sucks. But it is perfect for a diorama, or a film set for filming your Gunpla. My only lament is it's not that detailed as far as most Gunpla kits go. Oh yeah, in the back, that's for weapon storage. Guess what? If you're not using it for a Unicorn Gundam, forget it. All of these features back here are absolutely worthless to you. Or at least in my case, they're worthless. I can't fit anything in here. It's, what am I gonna do with this? Nothing, nothing. <laughs> Could've gave me decals to make up for that. Overall, once painted, this is a beautiful piece and it will stand out in any Gundam collection. If you already have a Unicorn Gundam, this might be a great buy as a little add-on, depending on how much you want to show off something, if you really prefer the Unicorn mode over Destroyer mode. Frankly, it is a late move to try and curb third-party sellers from flooding the market with their cheaper rendition. And I don't know if that's enough for the average Gunpla builder. I don't know if that's enough for the average person into the hobby to buy this simply because it is lacking in features. It's more or less something for a very niche group of people. So I guess that's probably why it's a Tokyo base exclusive. You have to be truly interested in this or dedicated to collecting all things Gunpla to go after this. The average person, I don't know if they'd jump on it. The price point is a little bit more expensive than third party, but then again, you pay for quality. It is Bandai official, not hard to paint at all like most Gundam model kits but lacking in details. So I guess that would give someone a chance to do a lot of scribing if they so choose. Please forgive uh, the shaking in the video. Fluffy is a very energetic puppy that loves to run around and just goof off in the background. <laughs> I may just have to take that hook hand and put it someplace where it will not shake as much. And that should be it. I filibustered for far too long and wasted too much of your time. Thank you for coming to my channel and rating, commenting, and subscribing and all the other stuff. Uh, more builds on the way, more videos coming. Uh, I will also do the Infinite Dimensions Gundam unboxing since people have said they're interested in seeing that. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for me, honestly. I I've got no 
great closing words other than uh, I hate brisk iced tea. I don't know why. I should have known. You know, family member comes over, gives you some free cans of, oh, brisk iced tea. I'm like, oh, I like iced tea. And I drank it. It's, it's all tangy and tart. It's like nasty lemoniness. This is so processed. How many calories is in this? 70 calories. Ugh. Tastes like it's more. Tastes like they put sweet and low inside of it. Disgusting. 